Do they still attempt to go for this bounty room, though? Because it looks like they are. So Tomato's up top. He might be able to get two there. Brial, Dubu, and Moon Meander. Angling towards it. Dubu gets it. Quick little tether across. A big arcane curse, but first blood's coming. And it's going to be Thunder Prenta. Minos takes down the silencer. It will Good start. Especially for MNZ. Getting that uh, first blood. Also reflection and HP pretty much. And then can be harassed. Mid lane, Sankin doing really well, 17 CS, Tinker sitting at 15 and the 16 eyes. Yeah, pretty nice. Terrorblade free farming bottom, Lifestealer not quite up there as Dubu gets taken down by Frank. Let's die himself though in the one for one trade and that leaves Tomato here to continue free farming away. Even if Dubu gets the kill there, will not get Looks like Phoenix scouts out the stack and also blocks the Ancients with a nice little sentry there. It doesn't look like Minos has been under too much pressure while being left alone. Still gathering up and hoovering the CS as is known to do, while Moon Meander, nowhere to run. Ten stick charges will get used up. With that Terror Blade doing some real heavy hitting, they'll continue moving on to Sabreite to force him out of lane, bullying him away and even diving Wait, tier they one. Diving? They're going for it. Sableye turns with a void, Minos under tower, oh, switches aggro onto the illusion. He's got 13 wand and a fairy fire, but Tinker's arrival will try to pick him off. He's been healed up though. Minos perfectly fine, MGZ might not be Tinker so lucky. Tinker needs to get this kill. Gets the kill in the end. Sableye baits them in, Bryle finishes him off. What an aggressive move there from Thunder Presenter. I did not think they're gonna go for Sableye. He has 12 armor, make it 14 when he's sitting next to Tier 1 tower. Good thing for Undying is that Brawl got that last hit with the laser and already has his rearm, so can come back whenever Dubu. it's needed. Moose has gone for this. Takes down Dubu first. Frank gets involved as well. We also saw Leo Star drag the Dire Creep Wave into the stack that had been made in that large camp, so he's accelerating himself of Sableye's Helm Creep, tethered up to the Dark Troll. And now Thunder Predator do swing up north. Dubu, poor little silencer, any skewered, speared against the tree. Easy pickings for Thunder Predator there, an absolute free before them. And finally, as you wanted to see, Terrorblade moves to the top lane, tries to get some damage on the tower. This is probably going to be a dead tower. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, we have these. Two position five heroes who are just constantly dying, trying to get something to happen, collect a bit of XP, playing with their lives. Royal, very thankful there. Takes the last hit with his PC missiles. Crime and punishment. In terms of Dota tooltips, Terror Blade looks like he's alone here. So Tomato and Moon Meander comfortable farming this wave right in front of him. But Moose and MJZ arriving, and of course we've seen the strength of the glimpse against the Io, drags him to the Static Storm while Tomato rages up. Claps down on the Disruptor, gets the one kill, while Bryle Bottom destroys Leo Star with the help of Sableye, it looks like. On the other side of the map, getting a much better kill. Extremely high skill. Well, it's getting him towards the Aghanim Scepter. <laughs> he's able to jump into the trees, farming safely from a distance. Hello, that's a reload. Moon Meander Tomado into the Radiant Triangle and MJZ, the sacrifice from Thunder Predator. Nothing there they can do to stop him from dying, but Dubu's gonna be the trade as always. Left stranded by his squad and the relocate out. Gets the life stealer away, but Leo Style wants to continue this. The fight's not over. The uh, regen aura as well, isn't it? Oh, life stealer. Yeah, he went for that Maelstrom, Sanj. Mjolnir coming up next, so he will be contending with a TB as Sableye jumps straight on in. Leo looks for the counter initiation, Burrow striking Tomato, Static Storm's rough onto Sableye and that life stealer. But the Infest, the Tether, they keep themselves all alive. The play here from Undying destroys oh, the two, this, they've eh? got the epicenter in, Tomato's down. The egg with that epi Burrow, well timed. And the one for two trade, it feels pretty good for Thunder Predator regardless. How that stops? Know something is up. They know exactly where Undying is standing. Roshan, it's gonna take a while. 
This is not a fast Roche. Yeah, there's no Arena, there's no Static Storm either. They've got Supernova, but Sableye jumps straight into the middle the of them all. Oh, they don't save him. Sableye now forced to buy back. They want to defend and find this Roshan. Glimpsing Moon Meander into the grasps of Minos. They don't have the nuke damage to finish him off. They need that Epi Burrow, beautifully placed onto Tomato. And Lifestealer, where's his health now? There's the Thinker on the high ground, Curse. Oh, oh he's just gonna die. A spam of the rockets and that laser clears through Minos. Hot knife through Butto, while Sableye, this buyback has worked wonders for him. Blinking forward, finding MJZ and Roshan unclaimed. Do they find They're still another? not done. They want more. Another support kill. Sableye, he wants it. Tinker spamming all these rockets, but Sableye, the dieback's coming. He's close to death and he will be finished. Dubu now feeling the wrath of Moos. Finished off. Tinker, he's not done. They don't have anti-Tinker here in this game. The only one who can jump pretty much is Sink. Good four staff out from MJZ. First item falls on the Phoenix. While Tomato and Moon Meander are in the Roshan pit, bringing down Roshan. Looking for that Aegis. Thunder Predator one in though. My god, that damage straight onto Leo Star. They lose Global. out on the Aegis and Leo's dead. Your Sand King, your Tinker Catcher is gone and Minos. Oh, hunted by Sableye. They glimpsed one back, but Terrorblade still being hounded here and Tinker TPing forward. Blinks Dubu back. Trying his best. Good Centaur Stomp and Dubu, he's not going to kill the Supernova himself. Egg will land and Minos nearly dead. Dropping lower, but a Sunder on the Frank. His teammate keeps him alive while Brawl. Burnt alive by MJZ. Undying have gone a step too far. The bridge has been burnt behind them and a glimpse the back glimpse on back. Sableye. Nice stalker dragged back to his doom. Walk to reinforce, not bad. You know, more device. cast range. Sure. There's always an item to buy, Ooh. but. Ooh. Hey. Ryle. He's on the money there. All right, Mario, calm down. Laser forward, Sableye. Gets on top of Phoenix, but they've popped the supernova. There's no real way to guard the egg, though. The pyramid drops and Leo style, he burrows into the trees, but his high ground vision will not keep him safe. They also caught a glimpse of Moos on the right hand side, so one after the other, Thunder Predator just get found. They need TB. TB needs to be in a fight. I... He wanted to farm his B from Frank, but you're playing against another professional player. You can't use Arena and try to spear him straight away. You know that he's going to be using that rage. Smoking towards Sableye, and he does spear him up against the tree. The chain stuns into the static storm, burning through Sableye, and yet again, nothing to save him. No infest, no heals as Tomato. He rages and runs forward. Frank taking massive burst damage from the Tinker. Oh, he's still alive, but is he burning to the Arcane Curse? He will die in the end to Dubu. This is the combo. Silencer using Arcane Curse, overtime damage, also providing vision for Rock. Waiting for any kind of mistake that TP makes. Thunder Predator needs to make a move. They've got to do something. Leo style. He goes in with a stun, but Sableye, he jumps in. And with the help of the Hex, they kill off MJZ. Forced to buy back out of the Phoenix as the relocate, looking to save anyone to move them just a little further back in the fight. Tomato, he's on the tail of Minos, but switches targets with a Hex forward. They'll clear up Frank and die back out of him while this Epi Burrow, it'll get Moon Meander, but Undying have another buyback to come. Leo Stahl and Minos aiming Sableye now. The dive, nah, doesn't do a damn thing. Already showed he's gonna precast that hex on you if you jump. Nice talk of providing vision. They find telescope. They do have triple blinks though, Lacoste. Disruptor sanking. I think and they want to try and steal but this. No static storm. Can they make 20. a move in? They do jump in. Tomato gets the Aegis though, and they're gonna take down Moos and MJZ. Both supports gone. And dying defend their honor inside the pit. And Thunder Phoenix. Predator. Manage to steal the disruptor or the TB who's going to take it. But again, we, we come back to the state of the game where Undying are in such a prime position to move up towards high ground again with the Aegis. The ability to jump in deep. Scyther Vice, a catch from Sableye. Leo Star with no buyback and another hex onto Frank. Tomato goes wild in behind those tier three towers. And Minos, oh, Tomato just. Slapping well, him around. In. The terrible blinked in. He does have a Sunder to play around with, but he's spent his BKB. Nice talk to lost the gem while he was in the base. Still looking for it. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Well, I did just see Silence's courier flying pretty wildly across the map. 
But they've got Minos with a Scythe of Ice, the Hex Spam, they catch the TB, that's the big kill. The one hero that matters for Thunder Predator gone for 80 seconds. And do they see Moose? Ooh, they might do. Moose is being caught out. Bryal just finding pick after pick. I think Aeroblade was kind of confused where South, where North is, because he was alone there. There was no one around him, and against Tinker, you can't really afford Using terrain to their advantage, holding the high ground. Oddling the dip. Ooh. Smoke will expire and it will give up the position of TP, but they make the first jump. Oh, Disruptor. Sanking, he's silenced up. Frank with the arena there, but Tomato and Sableye with his BKBs shredding through them. Minos Shaw, the TP, comes out, but he's hexed. There's no chance for Minos whatsoever. No saves, no Lincolns, no way to get out. Another minute and a half without a Terra Blade, and Undying have this game in the bag. Sableite looking to clean up any additional kills he can. And, now and a TB for Tinker. In we come for Bryle. Unstoppable. That was such a good global silence from Dubu. Disruptor blinked in, was ready to use the Static Storm. Uh, it mutes items with the Aghanim Scepter. Unfortunately, was not fast enough. That's like half a second, maybe even less. Dubu. Oh, Dubu efficiency. Put that Philly, big boy Philly in instead of Telescope. Uh, there, there we, we go, it. I just had to say it a I couple of times. Roshan. Dying with a scan on the pit. Oh, this might be a misread from Undying. The smoke's gonna break on Tomato. Leo Star's ready to jump on the Tinker. They make the catch onto Bryle. The Global Science comes though, and Bryle's so tanky. The Bloodstone, he's not even used a BKB yet. MGZ's dead, shredded, while Bryle's still standing. The initiation doesn't work from Thunder Predator. Now Minos. Oh, he wishes he didn't use it's that metamorphosis. They're going to swing it back around. There's the side device, the hex on the TB. He BKBs, he turns to try and fight and Sunder. He does get it off in time and he's doing some good damage here. But Undying still hold that much better position in the fight. They got the numbers advantage and they will destroy the Terra Blade. Ryle, man, has been amazing on this Thinker. I don't think they have enough. They, they need some kind of a damage. They need follow-up damage. Even if they kill Thinker there, they need to... Heavily commit, there's gonna be a buyback coming up from him. Yeah. Half of their lead is sitting in the bank of Tinker right now. Jeff Bezos over here with like 10,000 <laughs> saved up. Level 28 Tinker, overwhelming blink. He's gonna TP to Mars. He just binds it straight out. And GG's cool, Leo Stahl's out with that. Another loss for Thunder Predator, continuing their streak. And a well-deserved victory for Team Undying. Uh, they did not have any stuns at the start, except the one, you know, the mini stun. The from, Void. From Void, yeah, exactly. But they managed to make this work. Um, we've seen the combination of Night Stalker providing vision already and Thinker just being in the back lines. No real answer for Thinker. They